We are now on the last stage of our flight to Rio. The daily paper is delivered. Yes, we have our newspapers. And the coast of Brazil is at hand. From our 110-ton airship, unique views are obtained as we fly along at a steady 60 miles an hour gait. The coast is constantly changing and our speed enables us to get real moving pictures as we proceed. Pretty soon it's time to eat again and lunch passes yet another pleasant hour away. We are just about 300 miles from our first landing place in Brazil and pass every type of country, flat and wooded, rocky and marshy. Flying over river and bay, our airship eats up the miles and all of us are looking forward eagerly to an early and safe landing. Small towns pass below us as the ever watchful navigators steer a direct course for the airship, although one patch of stormy weather sends us a little out of our way. Avoiding the storm, we get back to the coast again and continue southwards, our camera busy meanwhile. And here's a queer rock formation, just like a human face jutting up from the land. And now we have reached the town of Pernambuco, and a minute or so later finds us over the landing ground, ready to anchor to the great mooring mast. Willing hands help us to our position and the non-stop flight of nearly 5,000 miles is over and we are safe on land again after a trip of but 68 hours, a record flight. And here we stay for the night. The following morning we leave Pernambuco on our last lap of 1,250 miles to Rio de Janeiro. The barometer is steady as we rise into the air again in fine weather and everything promises a pleasant voyage. Everybody is in good spirits at the prospect of a fast trip to Rio. Even the steady throb of the five engines propelling the 700 foot air monster seems to be in harmony with our mood. Here's a queer view taken from the nose of the ship looking down on the control cabin. The view from this cabin, too, is just ideal for observation. And here's a tragedy en route. We pass over a wrecked ship, but who she is or what happened, we know not. Now the busy town of Bahia appears below the thriving port of Brazil. And here's a strange fellow to meet, one of the big mail planes on its daily coastal journey. A few hours later, we catch sight of Rio. Very welcome to our eyes, in spite of the mist and rain which first greeted us. A few minutes later, we have passed over the town and are nearing the flying ground, where our mooring mast is fixed. And here we are at last, at the end of our journey. A fast and pleasant one for all of us, and a trip that will leave many happy memories in our minds of this unique voyage in the great Skyliner. Long may she ride the air on her lonely voyages across the vast Atlantic, braving the wind and the storm as she throbs her way through the sky.